Hi, welcome to FHK Heating Systems. This video is a programming guide for the PTVM-810 touchscreen thermostat. First, let's run through what the symbols represent on the display screen. The padlock symbol means the thermostat keypad is locked. The flame symbol means the floor heating element is switched on. The frost symbol means that the unit's frost protection system has been activated. The house symbol with a number inside represents which program schedule the unit is using at that time. The hand symbol means the unit is in manual mode and will ignore its timer and will follow the temperature you have set at that time. The auto symbol means the unit is in automatic mode using its preset timer. The override symbol means the unit is temporarily operating at the temperature you have selected and will automatically go back to schedule when the next program switch on or switch off time occurs. The ER symbol means the floor sensor has an error and is faulty or not connected properly. The moon symbol means the unit is operating in economy mode. Economy mode means your floor will only turn on when the temperature falls below the minimum temperature you have set. The sun symbol means the unit is currently operating in comfort mode. Comfort mode is when the floors are heated at your preferred temperature you have set. Let's move on to configuring your thermostat. In this section, we will run through the basic setup of your touchscreen thermostat. To begin, make sure your unit is switched off. If the thermostat is on, press the power button located at the bottom right. Once it is off, press the menu button. You will see menu 1 at the tip of the screen. Menu 1 allows you to choose which sensor the unit will use to determine the floor temperature. You can use the up or down arrows to select between three options. A, where the unit will use the built-in sensor. F, where the unit will use the floor sensor only. Or AF, the unit will use the air and floor sensor together. In this video, we will select F mode for floor sensor only. Once you have made your selection, press next. Menu 2 is the unit's switching differential. Switching differential is the number of degrees difference before switching on or off. So, if it is on 1 degree, your floor will switch on a half degree before your set temperature and switch off a half degree after your set temperature. If you set this at 2 degrees, this will mean your floor will come on 1 degree before your set temperature and 1 degree after your set temperature. Once you have selected your preference, press next. You will notice we have now jumped to menu 4. This is because we have selected the F mode back at menu 1. Menu 3, 5 and 6 are only applicable if the thermostat mode is set to A or AF. Menu 3 is used to calibrate air temperature if required. Menu 5 gives you the option to show the air temperature, floor temperature or both air and floor at intervals. Menu 6 is setting the maximum floor temperature. This is to protect the floor surface and set at 40 degrees Celsius by default. On screen there are some helpful tips on best temperature to set with specific flooring. For example, if you have carpet, best temperature to set it at is 28 degrees. Let's go back to your current F mode setting and look at menu 4. Menu 4 is used to calibrate the unit's floor temperature thermostat. You can use the up and down arrows to adjust if needed. You don't need to change this setting unless required. Press next to move on to menu 7. Menu 7 changes the temperature type to either degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. In this video, we have set it to Celsius. Press next to move on to menu 8. Menu 8 is used to adjust the clock to either 12 or 24 hour format. 
Simply click on the down arrow to change to your preference. Press next to move on to menu 9. Menu 9 is used to turn on frost protection. When this option is turned on, your unit will not allow your floors to fall below 5 degrees Celsius. You will only need this if you are in a colder area. However, if you are in a warmer climate where the floors won't likely get below 5 degrees, then you can keep this option off. Let's move on by pressing next to menu 10. Menu 10 is related to programming the timer. This allows you the option of programming either five days at once, then two days at the same time, or seven days. For example, option one is the five day plus two day program. Five days being Monday through to Friday, and the two day option being Saturday and Sunday. Option two is the seven day mode, so whatever you set as the schedule, this will replicate the program for the seven days of the week, Monday through to Sunday. In this video, we will be setting it to option two, the seven day program. Press next to move on to menu 11. Menu 11 gives you the option to either set your heating on permanent manual mode, where you control the temperature manually, or auto mode, where your unit will run on the program you have set. Zero, 00 option is your permanent manual mode, zero 01 option is your auto mode. Once you have selected your preferred option, press the done button. In this video, we will be setting it to auto mode. The unit will now show that it is off. The next step is to set the time and day on the thermostat. To set the time and day, press the power button at the bottom of the screen if the unit is switched off. To change the time, simply press the clock. Once the clock starts flashing, use the up or down arrows to set the time. Then press the next button. You will now see a day flashing at the top of the screen. To set the right day, use the up or down arrows. Once you have selected the right day, press the done button at the bottom left of the screen. The time and day have now been set. How to set the seven day on off timer. This will allow us to set the time once for the whole week or set each day's on and off times individually. The unit will need to be turned on if it is not on already. Press power to turn it on and then press schedule at the bottom left of the screen. You will notice your current day of the week will start flashing at the top of the display. To program each day individually, press the down arrow to select the day you would like. To program all seven days, press all days button at the bottom of the screen second from the left. You will notice that all of the days will now be flashing at the top of the display. Then press next. The house symbol with the number one and a person inside will show at the top of the display. This is your morning's switch on time. Use the up or down arrow to set what time you would like your floors to warm up. As an example, we are choosing 6 a.m. in the morning. Once you have selected your desired time, press the next button to set your desired floor temperature. In this example, we will choose 28 degrees F mode. Then press next. The house symbol with the number two and, a per and the person leaving the house is your morning's switch off time. After this time, your floors will cool down to their minimum or economy mode temperature. In this example, we will be setting the turn off time for 9am in the morning. Then press next to select your minimum or economy mode temperature. In this example, we are setting it at 15 degrees. Then press next. At the top of the screen, there will be a house symbol with the number three and a person returning. This is your evening floors switch on time. 
In this video, we have selected 5.30 p.m. by clicking on the down or up arrows at the bottom of the screen. Once you have set your desired time, press next. The temperature numbers will start flashing. Now select your desired temperature you would like your floors to be. In this example, we are setting it to 28 degrees. Once set, press next. At the top of the screen, you will see the house symbol with the number four and a person inside. This is your floor's final switch off time for the night. Select your desired time for the switch off. In this video, we are setting it to 10 p.m. by pressing the up or down arrows at the bottom of the screen. Once set, press the next button at the bottom right of the screen. Now, select your minimum or economy temperature for the night. In this example, we are setting it at 15 degrees, then press done. Now, all the days of the week have been set with those switch on and switch off times. If you would like to have a different schedule for a specific day, you can easily do this by selecting schedule. Then use the down arrow to select the day you would like to change. In this video, we are changing the schedule for Saturday. Once you have selected the day, press next. From here, simply follow previous steps to select the preferred times and temperature for that specific day. Once you have changed this, press done. Now that you have set times, you will see auto display on the screen. If you would like to stop using the automated timer, you can select manual mode by following these next steps. To select manual mode, press button at the bottom of the screen. The hand symbol will appear. Now, the thermostat will maintain whatever temperature you select. To change the temperature, press the temperature on the main display now use the up or down arrows to select your desired setting. In this example, we are setting it at 28 degrees. Once changed, simply press done. To change it back to automatic schedule again, press the mode button. If you want to force the thermostat to temporarily override the automatic setting for the floor to warm up more or cool down at any given moment, you can simply do this by pressing the temperature on the display. Change to your preferred temperature and then press done. The override symbol will show on the display and will remain that way until you either press the run schedule button or until the next program begins. Holiday mode. When you go on holidays, there are two simple ways you can choose to make sure your floors are switched off. First option is by simply turning the power off by pressing the power off button at the bottom right of the screen. The second option is by setting the holiday mode. Holiday mode means the unit will turn off up to 99 days and will only turn on if the temperature falls below to activate the frost protection if you have this setting turned on. To turn on holiday mode, press the holiday button at the bottom of the screen select the number of days you will be away for and then press done. The unit is now in holiday mode and is displayed on the main screen with the number of days remaining at the top of the display. To turn holiday mode off early, simply press the holiday button at the bottom of the screen. Adjust the number of days to zero and then press done. Locking the keypad. To lock the keypad, press and hold the top left of the screen for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, you will see the padlock symbol at the top right of the display. To unlock the keypad, press and hold the top left of the screen for 5 seconds. The padlock symbol will disappear, the keypad is now responsive. Finally. If you want to reset the thermostat to its factory settings, simply follow these next steps. To reset the unit to its factory settings, turn off the thermostat by pressing the power button at the bottom of the display. Press and hold off at the centre of the screen for 5 seconds. The unit 
has now been reset. Thank you for choosing FHK Heating.